What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to get extensions and get the newest beta of Google Chrome. Um, this is kind of like a little overview of Google Chrome and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm actually going to use Safari and I'm actually going to show you how to go and get the beta of Google Chrome. But unfortunately it switched over to my laptop monitor so I have to actually bring it over for you guys right now. And let's go ahead and pop that open. So what you, where you want to go to get the actual Google Chrome beta, um, I don't know if it's actually on the website yet, uh, but where I get all my betas from and all newer software updates like Skype and Google Chrome, iTunes, or like other programs that I use, uh, this is where I go to. It's called FileHippo.com. Um, how I get to this site is now how I uh, found this site it was actually from an Apple employee. So I was actually kind of impressed of what Apple has done and actually that employee himself uh, telling me about this website and that it was actually pretty cool actually but actually top for a little bit more. Going on, you're going to go to File, Hippo and it should pop up right up there and you can see here is File, Hippo. Now you can see latest updates, the 29th that was yesterday, Google Chrome got another beta update so this is where you will go to uh, download the update link will also be in the pants bar and over here you got the older versions and you get all the betas and actually all the um, actual test ones from 5.0 from 4.0 and stuff like that so you're just going to go ahead and click download latest version and that will go ahead and bring you to this page right here and it should pop up in a minute right over here and click save and it'll download but unfortunately I already have it installed so we're just going to go ahead and wait for this to finish down so I can delete it now we'll just delete it like that take that out of that and delete it now we're going to open up Google Chrome so Google Chrome got a, a little bit more faster um, the design up here they actually touched it up they actually made it a little bit faster uh, one of the new things I actually found out that was pretty cool you can add extensions now now if you see my tweet earlier um, I tweeted about this and if you're not following me on Twitter please follow me on Twitter guys I got like 58 followers um, I'm trying to get as much Twitter followers um, I update everything from Twitter from a new video to something funny to something cool uh, screenshots from my iPod uh, but of course my iPod is actually water damaged right now so I can't do that so um, I'm going to show you how to get Google Chrome extensions um, what they'll do is it'll like like Mozilla Firefox, you can get extensions, you can download stuff, and now Google Chrome has this. I don't know if they had it before, but they did have it. So here I got the Twitter extension. Um, if you go to the wrench tool, and you go down to tools, and go to extensions, this will bring up all your extensions, and you can have a list of what you have here, and you can disable them, uninstall them, or options, and options can give you like you can change the color and stuff like that and you can change different things like here you are certain so you can change from a bunch of these or you can do a bunch of other things and you can do refresh and stuff like that you can uh, change all this if you wanted to uh, but it's actually pretty cool um, I haven't actually looked through this and actually seen any of this stuff but you can go ahead and change some of the stuff you can change like some of the colors and stuff so if we wanted to change the home, we can change it to like a different color or something like that and change it like that. So that's actually pretty cool. So we're just going to exit out of that. Now over here on the right side, we got get more extensions. And if you click that, that looks like should bring you to this page here. And this is where you get all your extensions at. Right at the top, you can search for extensions. So before we type in YouTube, this will bring... Um, a bunch of things for uh, things so for auto HD for YouTube that's actually pretty cool I'm gonna actually show you how to get that in just a minute and you got a bunch of other ones you get a bunch of other pages you can actually um, do all that now if you want to publish your own you can go over to right here and click I'm gonna go ahead and open this a new page and you will have to sign into your Google account and you can add a new item you can accept the license and terms and you can choose the file and upload it from that. Now I'll have a, uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that and how to make some extensions and stuff like that. And I'll probably make a video later on in the future. 
So here we go. We got Auto HD for YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this and show you how to how to install and uninstall a program. Right here we have a little script um, screenshot. So um, this will give you the um, the settings and stuff like that. And we'll go ahead and exit out of that and click install. And that is it. It's done. It's done installing. We'll click actually click install, and now it's done. So now we got this come up. This is actually for your plugin. Um, prefer we want uh, 720p or 1080p. Um, we want to keep it at 720p because not everyone's videos are in HD or 1080p. So we'll keep it at 720p, and we'll keep that the default. Keep all this, and go ahead. And, uh, let me click save. And once that is saved, you can go ahead and exit out of that. If we go to tools, we go to the wrench and go to tools and extensions once again. You can see we have the auto HD right there. So we'll go ahead and go to YouTube and go into a new tab and open that up. And we'll go ahead and launch this video here. We'll cut the volume. And you can see it auto put it in auto in 720p. So that's actually pretty cool. And you can sit here and watch the video. And uh and actually go ahead and stop it to 1080 720p if you wanted to do that. Now, if you want to uninstall a program, you go to Tools, you go to Extensions again, and you can see it pops right on back. Um, you just click Uninstall, and just hit Install, and then it's gone. So that's about it, guys. So if you want to, um, all links will be below from my YouTube to my Twitter. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Timmy Amon, and uh, see you in the next video. Peace out.